Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us on 2K Sports. NBA action is coming up. This is Kevin Harlan, and we've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony at the table with me. And the fourth member of our crew, David Aldridge, our sideline reporter. D.A., take it away. Kevin, good evening. Carl Anthony Towns is certainly the franchise player now for the Timberwolves. Kat said, you lead by action and you lead by words. I'm more of the action guy. When things get tough, I've got to be the guy that leads the charge. Kevin, he knows his role and he knows his place atop the Wolves franchise. Knows it very well, D.A. Thank you so much. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. Taking a look at Miami. In the early season, they find themselves down in ninth place. And you know, for the Heat, they've been strong at times this season, but they still have some hope. I think they're a playoff caliber team. I just don't think they're a championship caliber team. This has been the thought all along. They have enough to compete night in and night out, but they're not taking four out of seven from a top team in this league. No way. So the opening lineup for the Heat, we've got Olenek. Jimmy Butler is out there with Adebayo. And there's Iguodala. And it's Dragic into the one. And for the Timberwolves, Ricky Rubio is out there with D'Angelo Russell. Then there's Edwards. Then there's Towns. And it's Reed in at the four. Well, this seems to be a game that could be very tactical, Greg. Both teams relying on execution in the half court. And, Kevin, you're going to see a lot of ball movement and body movement. And you can't just stand around and watch one guy go to work. I think that puts so much pressure on the defense with how the game is played. And an emphasis on coaching, too. Yes. Now, here's Dragic. Shot clock at six. Olenek has the open look. Buries the long-range jumper. Oh, Linux got the opening field goal of the game for Miami. Rubio looking around. Towns at the elbow. It's over Olenek. That one off the back iron and out. And so Adebayo will bring it up for the Miami Heat. It's a three-point game. This game coming after a loss against the Bucks. And missing your free throws usually changes the complexion of a game. Certainly did in that one, especially on the road. Each miss fired up that crowd even more. Here's Edwards. Some solid defense from Butler. Miami's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Pass to Autobio. No good. And now Minnesota on the fast break. Edwards leading the charge. And his competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Rockets the pass to Olenek. Right side Dragic. And it's Adebayo in the corner. Iguodala outside. Over Russell. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. There's the lob to Towns. It's stolen by Adebayo. Dragic with a wide open look. And again, it's the Heat missing. The Timberwolves have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Russell, and he converts the layup. Russell's got his second basket of the game. An active competitor, Russell won't go down without a fight, especially around the rim. And the Timberwolves have made it clear Carl Anthony Towns is their franchise player. He's the guy they're building around. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And we've heard Towns for years pronouncing his happiness with the Timberwolves. Last season, Greg, as the losses piled up, some rumors that he was getting frustrated. Well, we've seen this pattern with the Timberwolves before, right? Kevin Garnett, Kevin Love, all-star big man who ended up leaving the Twin Cities to win titles. 
Adebayo kicks to Olenek. Passes it to Dragic. Back to Butler. Six to shoot. Over Edwards. Here's Adebayo. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. A tireless worker. You don't have to call plays for Adebayo for him to score. Rubio against Dragic. Towns for three. The shot comes out, and it's Miami the other way. This, their first chance to take a look at Minnesota this season. You know, some teams just have your number, and that was the case between these two last season. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. And I like Russell's ability to create for others. He does what's best for the team. first quarter we're about three and a half minutes in here's Dragic he had 15 points last out now here's Olenek Butler feeling out a bit pass to Iguodala from deep it's hauled in by Carl Anthony Towns Towns has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Rebound by the Heat. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley-oop attempt. It started off looking good, but the timing was just a little off, and sometimes that's all it takes. Now here's Dragic. Anthony Edwards unable to get his last shot to go in. The Heat need to get a shot off. Miami no good on that time either. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. And it's the heat on the break. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. Great floor awareness there by Jimmy Butler. Sensing one of his guys is open and gets it to him. Rubio the pass to Russell. It's stolen by Dragic. And now here's Dragic, the fast break chance. And the jumper off target to finish the break. The Timberwolves have gone 3 of 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. And it's Russell missing. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. Butler with the ball. Guarded now by Rubio. Stolen by Rubio. Here's Russell. Does not score with that shot. It's his second miss against two made shots. Adebayo drives in. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Anthony Edwards. A, a tremendous athlete. Adebayo also possesses great mobility for a big fella. Uh, using it to get the call on that play. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting two. The first one falls. And you talk about guys who play with that chip on their shoulder. Bam Adebayo has not forgotten he was cut from the U.S. national team in 2019. And Greg, in fact, he told those close to him they will pay a little extra motivation. Fuel for the fire. Juan Hernan Gomez, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Malik Beasley comes in for Edwards. And Bam Adebayo demonstrating a refined skill set that belies his nickname, over five assists per game. He's a creator, not just a finisher. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Minnesota shooting their first free throws of the game. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. And the first one drops. And the Heat have given Adebayo the leeway to rip and run, baby. Make things happen. And Kevin, an unselfish player who loves to pass. Even back in high school, playing with lesser talent, he made sure to find the others. Jordan McLaughlin's checked in for Ricky Rubio.
and so Russell hits them both. Being a lottery pick often comes with high expectations, but Russell has shaped into a quality NBA player. Here's Hero. His last outing, he had eight points. And Adebayo throws it down. Wonderful play. With that long wingspan and huge hands, Adebayo catches and finishes with ease. So the Timberwolves called their first timeout. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Culver's checked in. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. Look at New Orleans. They've achieved some upward momentum, climbing to the fifth spot on the board. And, and when you look at the Timberwolves, they've had an interesting start to the year. Lately, they've put together some nice wins, and you get the general sense that their confidence is growing. Here's McLaughlin. The pass to Towns. Al Beasley. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Rager, the all-time assist leader for the Big West Conference. In that frame, talk about some of the traits that make for a, for a good floor general, a good point guard, a good facilitator. Yeah, I mean, listen, you, you have to be a leader because that's what the position calls for. Uh, unselfishness, instincts, that stuff matters. But ultimately, your, play, your teammates got to feel like you play for them. Uh, and, and that's when you have a team, a chance as a team to, to be special. I'm assuming you've always been like that. Am I correct? No, that oh, is not really? true. Wow. I evolved into a leader. In all seriousness, wow. you know, you, I, I think... It, some guys are natural. Others, like myself, had to evolve into it. And both free throws, good for Beasley. Ryan is on one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Back to Dragic. Outside Butler. Pass to Hero. Olenek trying to break loose. Hero no good. And it's Towns with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. And, you know, you, you have to feel terrible about how that thing turned out. I mean, the game was really going about as expected until they just gave up that huge surge there late in the game, totally lost momentum, and ended up losing that. Here's Dragic following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Passes it to Hero. He kicks it to Butler. 18 feet out. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. The Timberwolves have gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Here's Beasley. The kick out to Towns. Pass to Culver. Those three pointers off the mark. Miami trailer. Fires from the line. It's rebounded by McLaughlin. Minnesota's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Hernan Gomez passes to Towns. Over Olenek. With the second effort, Towns finds Hernan Gomez. And he comes up with the deuce. And the Timberwolves lead by four. And how about the quick eyes there from Towns? Finds a hole in the defense and exploits it there with a nice find. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Rockets the pass to Hero. The dish to Butler. And the pass to Hero. From deep, the shot's good on the assist by Butler. A knockdown three-point shooter. Tyler Hero knows he has the green light to fire. Here's McLaughlin. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Towns. And Towns throws it down. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. 
Timeout called the Heat. And, and coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. And the Heat with some changes. Myers Leonard, he's checked in for Olenek. Duncan Robinson comes in for Butler. And it's Avery Bradley in for Goran Dragic. Bradley can't get it to go. Just doing the job on the backboard. Here's McLaughlin. The shot, no good. Now the Heat take it the other way. And here's Adebayo outside. Beasley with the rebound. Minnesota leading by three. To the inside. Here's Hernan Gomez. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. And uh, Miami shooting well off their usual numbers, around 29% so far. Hero passes to Autobio. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Nine points for Bam Autobio. And off to a strong start offensively. He's got a nice touch. Here's Towns. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And last season, Carl Anthony Towns shooting over 40% from three-point range with over eight attempts a game. I mean, Greg, he is in the conversation, don't you think, for best three-point shooting center of all time? It's amazing, Kevin. His volume of threes is unprecedented for the center position. And it's not just standstill. Catch and shoot triples. He's hitting step backs. He could have that title when it's all said and done. And he makes the first. Hey, Greg, you played in a different era of NBA defense. When you look at how defense is played now in the league, how do you feel about it? You know, Kevin, I, I think the introduction of the zone, by and large, has been great. Uh, you, you get a lot more switching, uh, and I think it brings more skill into the game. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I do miss the physicality that we had back in the 90s, but I tell you what, right now, my body wishes I had the opportunity <laughs> to play in this era. I bet it does. Here's Hero. Over with it inside and it's Beasley that time and the assist by Culver and the Timberwolves lead by five how about the recognition from Culver terrific at realizing when the defense has broken down oh and there's the foul it's on Josh Akogi that is his first foul of the game Down low. Here's Hero. And that's a foul called on Malik Beasley. That's his first foul. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for Tyler Hero. Outside Bradley. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. For anyone out there questioning Bradley's strength, there you go. Converts right through the foul call. Steve, the days of Avery Bradley being a scorer are probably over. I mean, he, he scored in the mid-teens, we know that, but now I think they value his defense as much as his scoring. You're right, Kevin. Avery Bradley will rely on his athleticism, especially to get to the rim to score. With his injuries and change in situation, the chances, oh, they just haven't been there. But he's still an effective player. We just won't see his scoring outbursts as often. That free throw good from Avery Bradley. Here you have the consummate pro. Rare to see Avery Bradley complain or give anything less than 100%. Leonard against Beasley. Here's Hernan Gomez. Miami grabs the miss. Autobio's got six rebounds here tonight. 
and that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Minnesota in the lead. Throws it up high and finish off by Hernan Gomez. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley. -oop. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. None looking around. With some art. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Beasley finds Towns. Back to Beasley. Miami grabs the miss. Outside Robinson. Loads it up for Adebayo. And the rejection by Towns. The score now all even. Adebayo's got 11 points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. It's Beasley on the wing. He's covered by Leonard. Towns, the pass to Okogi. Back to Towns. Just five on the clock. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. The offensive rebound. A second chance effort. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And you got to like Towns being assertive there. When he plays like this, it really makes the defenders uncomfortable. The Timberwolves made all of their free throws so far tonight, going six for six. The free throw drops for Towns. And already a leader at such a young age. Towns' teammates look to him to anchor them on both ends, and he has not disappointed. Here's what Minnesota's going with right now. Reed's checked in, and Ricky Rubio subbed in for Beasley. And Towns drops them both. And trailing here in the early going, too many careless fouls, and they're giving up a lot of trips to the line. None against Rubio. And here's none. From about 19 feet, he squares up and sinks it. Nunn's got the game tied up here for Miami. It's been all about Carl Anthony Towns for Minnesota. His stat line has been terrific. As the quarter ends, he's already got a double-double. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And recently, D'Angelo Russell, Greg, told us about some off-season work he put in. Man, I picked a lot of people's brains, you know, going into the summer. A lot of guys that have made that jump paved the way for us, a lot of older guys. And, um, you know, the, the, the answer that they were giving me was figuring out that routine that your body needs, that your mind needs to um, prepare for each game. And once I started getting in that consistent routine of napping, eating my pregame meal, um, things of that sort, it kind of started to come for me. Craig doing what he can do to reach that immense potential. You know, the talent is there. There's never been a question about that, but you also have to be reliable and accountable, both to yourself and to your team. Sounds like that's becoming his focus. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game. That's... And the way Towns makes scoring look effortless, it's what makes him one of the game's best players. Miami trailing. Now, here's none. Right side Leonard to the paint. The shot. Gets it to go. That one good from Autobio. Autobio's got 13. Muscle points count just like any others. That's a great play. And it's Rubio penetrating, and the layup is good. And the Timberwolves lead by two. I love how Rubio controls the pace, able to shift gears in an instant. And we've played through the first uh, minute here in the second. And Ricky Rubio gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Russell, he's checked in for Josh Akogi. 
Heat also with the sub. Iguodala's checked in. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. Now, none. To the middle. Here's Autobio. Offensive rebound. Leonard. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. Russell against Adebayo. Pass to Reed. Three-pointer. The shot, no good. And it's Miami the other way. Atlanta will be traveling to face them after this game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Adebayo finds Iguodala. Leonard on the wing. Offensive rebound heat. And out of bounds as the Timberwolves gain possession. And as we check out this year's contenders for the dunk contest, we get a look at some of the showmen, the best showmen in the NBA. And with the names on that list, you know we're going to have a crazy competition this year. Well, you look at Adebayo. Some might say he's a long shot at this point, but you never know. Hey, stranger things have happened, and, and we'll just have to wait and see. And as always, we'll keep the updates coming in as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. One thing we already know, there are some great players pulling in votes so far. Yeah, and I think it's safe to say that this is going to be one of those dunk contests that everybody's going to be tuning into. We throw good, Russell. Greg, how special was it for you that you had your number 50 retired at UNLV? You know, that's something that I can honestly say. As a kid, you dream about a lot of things. Winning, you know, playing at the, the highest levels. Uh, that's something I never really fathomed, is uh, to have your jersey hanging up in an arena. That was a surreal moment, a, a really cool moment, and it was awesome to be able to share it with my family and friends. And people probably uh, don't know that you grew up in Las Vegas, so it was probably doubly special, wasn't it? Exactly. Born and raised. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. And too long on the shot. Rare for him to get a wide-open shot from mid-range and fail to connect. And Edwards with the stop. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Rubio against none. Pass to Olenek. None with it. That's a two from Butler. And again, it's the Heat missing. Edwards inside. Defended by Butler. Iguodala with the steal. Butler against Rubio, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you look at the career shooting percentages for Myers Leonard. 48% from the field, 39% from three-point range, and over 80 from the free throw line. How is he averaging less than 20 minutes a game for his career? You know, G.A., he's probably asking the same question. But what I do love is he does the little things, and his scoring, he's efficient. He's earning his keep. Take a Has a chance Take one a day to be a 50, 40, 90 guy. The first free throw is good. Jordan McLaughlin's checked in for Minnesota. Heat also with a sub. Goran Dragic is checked in for Kendrick Nunn. hits them both and what an advantage you really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line here's McLaughlin 
He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. Rogic kicks to Butler. Down low, stolen away. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Russell's running. Here's Towns. Second chance shot, and the layup is up and in. Towns has got four this quarter. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Pass to Olenek. Kicks it to Dragic. Iguodala outside. Four on the shot clock. And there's the pass to Butler. Launches it. It's rebounded by McLaughlin. And with him missing literally everything he's put up today, you can see why the score is what it is. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. Iguodala, that's good. Doesn't matter how many years Iguodala plays in this league, he's going to give you everything he has, wire to wire. Outside, Towns. Here's Reed. I see that time from Leonard. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And it's Butler missing. And he just hasn't been able to make anything this quarter. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Hey, Kevin. The Timberwolves were fined last season for resting D'Angelo Russell on the road in a nationally televised game. Minnesota said, we're a player-centric organization that's focused on learning and optimizing our players' bodies. The guys, they do seem willing to pay a fine here or there to protect their players' health. Back to you. Well, as a player, how couldn't you like that? Always watching out for it. David, thank you for that one. Reed misses. Miami's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Pass to Dragic. Olenek trying to break loose. Dragic gets the bucket. Dragic has got it all tied up now for the Heat. You know, Goran Dragic has a tight handle. Really allows him to get anywhere on the court he needs to be. And here's Russell. He's coming off a 19-point game against Charlotte. And it was an unselfish night for him as well. He got plenty of assists to go along with all those points. To the inside. And finished off by Hernan Gomez. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. But the truth is, those type of plays are going to happen. You just have to regroup mentally and get back to work. And the dunk by Olenek. Give Kelly Olenek credit. Sticking with the shot despite intense coverage. And his first trip to the line tonight. And when you shoot 86 from the line like he did last season, you usually cash in on those opportunities. Malik Beasley, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. A lot of teams with a lot of new players, Greg, this time of year can be a real challenge to mesh. No doubt. You know, getting everybody on the same page sometimes, it, it can take time. And then you have to build that trust. Weathering the storms together will obviously help you do that. Open shot, Butler. Beasley with the rebound. Beasley's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Here's McLaughlin. He's guarded by Dragic. Hernan Gomez finds Beasley. Back to Hernan Gomez. From downtown. No good from Beasley. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for Miami. Here's Iguodala. And Butler gets it to go on the assist by Iguodala. Butler's got the lead up to three now for Miami. 
The Timberwolves have gone 5 and 12 from the field here in the second. Outside Russell. Now here is Hernan Gomez. He has six. Here's Beasley. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Three on three. Igudala wide open. And the three off target. Minnesota's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Here's McLaughlin. He's covered by Igudala. Russell passes to Hernan Gomez. Over Butler. Hernan Gomez, no good. And there's a whistle. That goes on Hernan Gomez. That is his first foul of the game. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Culver's checked in. Bam Adebayo's checked in for the Heat. Miami leading by three. Outside Butler. Right side Dragic. Up and in on the layup. Dragic has got his second basket of the night. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and continue to score consistently. Passes it to Culver. Now here's Beasley. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Now Hernan Gomez. Back to Beasley. Trying to get something going. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Adebayo's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And Goran Dragic gets the three. Dragic has got seven points for the quarter. It took him a while to get going, but here in the second quarter, he's found his rhythm. Minnesota calls timeout. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Akogi's checked in for Jordan McLaughlin. The Heat also changing it up. Duncan Robinson, he's checked in for Butler. And Bradley subbed in for Goran Dragic. Akogi, the pass to Reed. Beasley outside. Pass to Hernan Gomez. The Timberwolves again can't hit. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it worse. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the timeout, or do you let your guys try to fight through it? To the paint. That's good, and the Heat lead is cut down to just eight points with the bucket from Hernan Gomez. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Miami's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Here's Hero. Covered by Beasley. Bradley against Hernan Gomez. Shot clock at five. Knocks it loose. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Here's Beasley. The shot misses. And Miami the other way now. Loads it up for Adebayo. A flawless finish on the alley-oop. Bam is cooking right now. Once he flips this switch, he's tough to slow down. Timberwolves trail by 10. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Hernan Gomez passes to Reed. Back to Hernan Gomez. Over Adebayo. And that one hits back iron. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. That free throw, no good. He was drafted two picks ahead of Giannis Antetokounmpo in 2013. Kelly Olenek has carved out a nice career, though. But it must still give Danny Ainge nightmares. And the Heat making a change here. Nuns checked in. Miami leading by 11. And we know GA shooting is a question mark for Jarrett Culver. A long wind up, a little hitch in his giddy up, and shoots it kind of on the way down. He's reworked his motion. I like the high release, but it's still a work in progress. Culver passes to Reed. 
103 left in the first half of the game. Here's Beasley. And it's Miami with the rebound. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not helping their calls. None. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Timberwolves trail by 13. Here's Culver. It's hauled in by the Heat. Robinson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Nunn, and he lays it straight in. Nunn's got six. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive, and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Six-second difference between shot and game clock. Inside. And out of bio, sends it back. This shot can't get past Bam. His reach is just too much. Oh, oh no. He's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points every time he steps up there. And just over 80% from the line right now. A big improvement over what they shot in that first quarter. A nice shot by Culver. And how about the balance there from Culver? Really good at staying in control despite the D being all over him. Here's the three. And so it's Miami. Their lead at 15 going into the break. Their defense has been active and effective. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Curl, they made a run there at the end. How did that happen? We didn't do a good job of closing the half. Uh, we got to contain them from not making shots. Uh, you know, we just got to do a better job. We'll see if you can do that. Thanks, Carl. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. Bam Adebayo putting in some incredible work. He ended up with 19 points, 10 rebounds, and one steal. Kenny, let's get your take on Miami. Well, they just about ran their offense to perfection. They pounded the ball inside, and the entry feeds were on time and on the money. It was a clinic to watch. The second half is going to be no contest if they keep getting shots eight feet and in. How about you, Shaq? What do you think about Minnesota? When you're that cold from the floor, it's always going to be up. So the ball movement has to be the priority in the second half. They need to be creating a lot of good shots if they want to uh, dig into this lead. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at Bam Adebayo in this game, guys. He has been everywhere. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. They're asking a lot of him, shouldering the load in a number of areas. You just hope he has enough left at the end. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Here's who Eric Spolstra is starting the second half with. Adebayo is out there with Jimmy Butler. Then it's Olenek, then there's Drogic, and it's Igudawa in at the two guard. Three. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got three assists now in this one. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. And the rejection by Town. And his foot movement is what makes Town such a terrific shot blocker. He moves so well and can defend just about any position on the floor. And it's Dragic with the ball for the Heat. There's the pass to Olenek. 
Now Adebayo. And the rejection by Towns. And here's the fast break. Russell leading the way. And the lead is down inside single digits. Russell's got 10. Terrific game plan coming out of halftime. A perfect three for three from the field. Back to Igudala. Pass to Autobio. Banked in off the glass. Autobio's got 21 in the game. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. Russell feeling it out a bit. Passes to Edwards. There's the triple. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Uh, the long arms, the positioning. Towns is excellent at knowing how to gobble up those second chance opportunities. And Adebayo throws it down. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Outside, Russell. As do Edwards. Igudawa against Towns. Misses off the right iron. The Heat leading by 11. The pass to Butler. In the corner, Igudawa with it. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Igudawa has got his second bucket of the night. Just an exceptional job by Iggy, imposing his will down inside with his strong frame. Towns, and the dunk by Towns. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two and jam. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Rockets the pass to Iguodala. Rubio against Dragic. On the wing, Iguodala. Six on the shot clock. Fires the three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Towns has got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after. Here's Edwards. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Jimmy Butler. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shot. First free throw is good. And the Heat making a change here. Leonard's checked in. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Heat leading by nine. Rockets the pass to Butler. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Here's Adebayo. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. He's hot this quarter getting the shots he wants and he's delivering and this is his second trip to the line in the game man you know Bam Adebayo knows his role doesn't play outside of himself and he's a quality teammate, too. Bounce pass, Rubio. Towns kicks to Rubio. To the middle. It's stolen by Adebayo. And it's the Heat on the break. From deep, Igudawa. It's rebounded by Towns. Towns has got rebound number 15 here tonight. The drive by Russell. Great D that time from Leonard. The Heat leading by 12. Loads it up for Adebayo. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. It's good. Russell's got four points this quarter. Crossing up the defense, and that's what you expect from Rubio. Terrific vision. 
Dragic with it. He has seven. Right side, Leonard. Igudala outside. Just five to shoot. Dragic with it. Guarded now by Rubio. Dragic gets the bucket. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Timberwolves trail by 12. Outside, Russell. Plays it up off the glass. Russell's got 14 points for the game. Yeah, fearless move by Russell. Just challenging the defense. Going right to the heart. And here are the Heat now. 17 points was their biggest margin. Pass to Igudala. Heat moving the ball around. Rockets against Rubio. Rocket six. Butler, no good. The Timberwolves have gone 7 of 10 on their field goal attempts here in the third. And, and taken with the 30th pick back in 2011, Jimmy Butler went from 15th man in Chicago, riding the end of the bench, to franchise player in the course of four seasons. And, Greg, it seemed in Chicago and Minnesota, maybe, Jimmy Butler wore out his welcome. Philadelphia, they had him, and they had to juggle multiple stars. But, man, Miami, the Heat handed him the keys, and he has taken off. And, Kevin, he's shown himself worthy, lifting them to a top seed in the East and himself into the MVP conversation. And the free throw, no good. And so Adebayo will bring it up for the Heat. They're leading by eight. And Dragic gets it to go on the assist by Adebayo. And that's now 11 points for Goran Dragic. The Timberwolves have gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. A great third quarter for them offensively. Rubio the pass to McLaughlin. Now Tau. Dishes to Rubio. Here's Edwards. And Adebayo sends it back. Passes it to Dragic. Pass to Butler. Towns with the steal. Edwards with it. Now guarded by Dragic. Here's Hernan Gomez. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. He yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves. Culver comes in for Edwards. And it's Beasley in for Ricky Rubio. One shot. And that one misses. The Heat leading by eight. Here's Bradley. Left side, Leonard. The pass to Autobio. Here's Bradley. Outside, Robinson. From outside, off the mark. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. A Kogi's check in for Minnesota. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. The Heat have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Here's Hero. And the shot goes in. Hero's got five. A focused individual. Hero's not going to let a little contact affect his shot. Minnesota calls timeout. And you look at Adebayo. What a contribution. Absolutely 
on fire. That they need to regroup and figure out a way to slow his roll. Let's take a look at the 2K leaderboard to find out who were the best shooters from behind the arc last season. So it's Minnesota now. After this one, they're off to Philadelphia to take on the 76ers. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. Pass to Culver. Back to Beasley. The three. And the rejection by Leonard. And he gets it back. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Adebayo. Towns for three, and they get it back, but they'll get another chance. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Passes it to Brandon. Pass to Leonard. Over Beasley. It's rebounded by Towns. Towns has got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. Culver's shot is off. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. The well, Heat leading by 10. Here's Hero. Five points in the game. Tries again. And Adebayo with the lay-in. Adebayo's got nine points here in the second half. With a lethal mix of strength and length, Bam Adebayo can wreak havoc down low. Akogi, the pass to Beasley. Makes it off the glass. Beasley's got his second basket of the night. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. Miami's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Now the pass to Brantley. Here's Hero. Pass to Autobio. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now looks like it's going in. He's made two of his three attempted tonight. Throw good out of bio. Timberwolves trail by 13. Here's McLaughlin. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. The Timberwolves working the ball around now to the paint. It's stolen by Bradley. Now here's Bradley, the fast break opportunity. Here's Hero. Triple from the wing. Hero's got five points now this quarter. Set him up, he'll knock him down. Tyler was drafted largely for that dead-eye jumper. Outside, Towns. Pass to McLaughlin. It's stolen by Bradley. And Robinson wide open, he shoots. And it's off from three-point range. Here's a Kogi. He dishes it to Culver. Left side, Towns. No good that time. And it's Miami the other way. Adebayo passes to Hero. From 10 feet out, goes back up. Two points, that one goes. Adebayo's got 33 points. You see the offense coming around for Adebayo. Entered the league with raw skills, but he's had the benefit of great coaching. Culver passes to Towns. Shoots over Leonard. And that one, good. Towns has got 20. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Here's Hero. Defended by Towns. Fires top of the key. Hero no good. 
Timberwolves trail by 16. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. And it's Bradley with the ball for the Heat. They led by as many as 18 points. Now a timeout called by Miami. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Reed's checked in. The Heat also changing it up. Kelly Olynyk comes in for Myers Leonard. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Tyler Hero. Adebayo finds Olynyk. And here's Bradley. Robinson for three. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Pass to Reed. Wants to get it to Beasley and does. Over Nunn. He can't get it to go. And Miami the other way now. The Heat have been getting it done at the line, 10 for 12. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. The pass to Towns. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got his fifth rebound in this one. And there's the foul. It's on Towns. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we'll head to the line for two. And so Olenek nails both of them. There's 42 seconds left to play in the third. And here's Beasley. He's got six. Rebound by Olenek. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And, and really a tough break for the D. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. All three throws good from Avery Bradley. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And it's Towns penetrating. And the dunk by Towns. And really one of the more mobile bigs in our league. You, you simply have to account for Towns on the drive. There's 21 seconds left in the third quarter. Beasley against none. Robinson up top. No points in the game yet for him. Now, here's Bradley. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. And the Heat lead by 20. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. Heat out front, opening up a huge gap. And we'll get it going after this from the target center. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. A moment now to reset the lineups brought to us by Gatorade, all fueled up here for the fourth quarter. So on the floor for Minnesota, they've got Ricky Rubio. He's out there with D'Angelo Russell. Carl Anthony Towns is out there with Colbert. And it's Reed in at the four-man position. Basket good. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. 
Here's Towns. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got five assists tonight. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Diego Dalla deciding where to go with it. Takes the three. Minnesota with the rebound. Now Culver. And it's good for two. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Bradley kicks to nine. Pass to Igudala. Down to five on the shot clock. Down low, Towns with the steal. And here's the fast break. Russell leading the way. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. They get Andre Igudala. And that time, Russell just sneaks in there on the drive. Defender couldn't react in time, and that was all she wrote. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Edwards, he's checked in for Culver. Jimmy Butler, he's checked in for Miami. Rogic comes in for Kendrick Nunn. And so Russell hits them both. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Iguodala outside. Pass to Butler. Over Russell. And he overshot that one, missing. You know what? They're winning, though, despite the fact that he has just been really off. And Edwards with the stop. Already one of the league's more creative assist men. Russell making people around him better. Well, he leading by 14. Right side, Dragic. Adebayo passes to Butler. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Love the level of concentration by Jimmy Butler on that play. And, and as much as he commands attention on the court, Jimmy Butler content to skip the spotlight when he's off it. You know, G.A., nothing has come easy in his career for Jimmy Butler. All he does is puts his head down and works and works and works. And because of that work ethic, he has become an all-star. Love watching his progression. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And another thing you like about Russell, just good size at that lead guard position and makes him a handful to defend inside. And the second free throw, good. He'd have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Passes it to Butler. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. The dish now doing it out. Just four to shoot. The three. Reed with the rebound. Reed's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Towns, and Towns throws it down. And when you're looking around the league, talking about guys with pure point guard skills, Rubio's name is right there. Miami leading by 14. Dragic with it. The pass to Olenek. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. And that's 13 points for Kelly Olenek. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Well, not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. So it's Miami now. 22 is their biggest lead. 
and a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Adebayo high post and the rejection by Town. Oh, Russell in position. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Drogic with it. He's picked up by Russell. Drogic gets the bucket. Absorbing the contact, finishing the play. Drogic has that great body control. The kick out to Towns. And it's Russell in the corner. A floater, and the layup is good. Russell's got 13 points in the second half. And after an abysmal first half from the field, the shot's now starting to fall. Miami leading by 14. Here's Dragic, pass to Olenek, to the inside, out of bio, and out of bio, throws it down. And with an excellent understanding of the game, Olenek is able to find open teammates. Outside, Russell. Edwards against Butler. He can't get that one to fall. Great D that time from Higudawa. And Butler, here we go. Oh, and the jam by Butler. I love that by Jimmy Butler. Sees a little bit of daylight, takes it, and slams it. Rubio outside. Here's Reed. He's guarded by Adebayo. And good that time. Russell's got nine points now in the quarter. So much sharper, so much more efficient with his shot this half. Just taking what the defense allows. Butler passes to Olenek. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one is on Towns. A physical player, Kelly Olenek, using his body well to attract contact. That one falls for Olenek. Heroes checked in for Miami. And so Olenek nails both of them. Here's Rubio. to Towns. Towns is double. And there's Edwards on the assist by Towns. Towns has got his third assist on the night. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Miami leading by 16. And here's Dragic. Olenek, high post. Five to shoot. Butler against Edwards. Shots good by Butler. Talk about making halftime adjustments. You love what they're doing with him now offensively. Timberwolves have gone on a tear here in the fourth. They're eight of nine on field goal attempts in the quarter. Rubio dishes to Russell. Back to Rubio. It's stolen by Adebayo. And that one's good by Butler. Butler's got nine points now in the quarter. Timberwolves trail by 20. Rubio the pass to Towns. He kicks it to Russell. Back to Towns. And Towns throws it down. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. Now here's Dragic. Outside Butler. 
Back to Dragic. Stolen by Rubio. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Edwards leading the charge. Russell, no luck. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for Miami. 22 is their biggest lead. Russell high post. From outside the arc. Offensive rebound. Here's Reed. Here's Towns. That's another rebound. Collecting yet another board. He's been everywhere. Just sensational. Butler. Unable to get that one. So Minnesota will take it the other way. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Well, Heat leading by 16. Passes it to Hero. To the middle. Here's Adebayo. Some shooters get tunnel vision. But Tyler, keeping his eyes up and his options open, delivers a great pass. Minnesota calls timeout. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game. Bam, Adebayo. And Kevin, it, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. They lost two straight coming into this one, and he knew he needed to put his foot down. He's shown leadership tonight, getting them back on the winning track. The Timberwolves shooting about 42% so far. Rubio against Dragic. Rubio the pass to Reed. Olenek with the steal. It's stolen by Edwards. And now the Timberwolves on the break. And Russell gets it to go. Russell's got 13 points now in the quarter. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Rubio against Dragic. Here's Butler. And he makes that one. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Now Russell. There's the pass to Reed. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got his eighth assist in the game. Okay, nice job here in the second half. Field goal percentage is way up from what it was at halftime when it was just barely above 30%. Here's Hero. He's guarded by Russell. Rubio against Dragic. Shoots over Rubio. That one, no good. And Minnesota now the other way. Here's Russell. And he banks in the layup. Russell's got 29. And look at Russell bringing the intensity. He's stronger now, willing to mix it up inside no matter who's on him. Dragic with it. Inside, here's Olenek. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First one falls for him. Andre Igudala is checked in for Hero. And so Olenek nails both of them. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Rubio against Dragic. Rubio the pass to Reed. No good, shot missing. The Heat leading by 16. Outside Butler. 
Adebayo against Edwards. The shot by Adebayo, no good. Minnesota shooting at 44%, pretty reasonable. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for Miami. They made more foul shots, and that was the difference. That, that was a big advantage. The other team was defending with their hands instead of moving their feet, and they handed them a lot of easy points at the line. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Bam Adebayo. Hard not to be impressed by what he did tonight. He was aggressive, he was efficient, and the defense had no answer. They're in good position here to ride it out. Uh, certainly. If they just play smart, this game's over. Here's Dragic. Heat moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. And it's sent back by Russell. Just too big a deficit to come back from at this point. And you know, disappointment starts to set in a little bit. You fought all night, just wasn't meant to be. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Bam Adebayo. He gets the first, and that brings them to within 10. And he makes both free throws. And none has got the ball here for Miami. 22 is their biggest lead. And so it's Miami winning this one. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Jimmy, you have not been shy about setting the bar high for this team defensively. Now, how do you think you did at that end tonight? Uh, we did our thing tonight. We came out, put bodies on guys. Um, basketball is a game of runs, and um, they got some great scores, but in the end, we did what we were supposed to do. You got the last run, and that's what matters. Thanks, Jimmy. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.